Greetings. Welcome back to AG2. My name is Chief Ties here at the AG School. Today I want to demonstrate to you how to scrub a promotion list at the division or core level. It's easy to do this at the brigade level because you know your battalions, you understand your UICs, and you can filter this list. The problem becomes at division and core, when you're giving this list to a general officer, you need to be able to tell him what battalion this is. So I want to be able to tell him what battalion that is. And at Division and Core, you don't just know what that UIC is because it's so many, especially at Core. So for many of you, you went and pulled a list of all your eligible staff sergeants on the day you got the prepo list. And I'm going to offer you a much cleaner method. You don't want to, you don't care about the names. The question that you have of this data set is really who on this promotion list is in a UIC that belongs to me? So again, task org is the most important thing in this process. So what I'm going to show you real quick, this may take five minutes at tops. And if I was in the division of core G1 using this method, as soon as a list comes out and I drop another one in here, it only takes five seconds. So the first thing I got to do is fix this UIC and turn it into a UIC that we understand. The first thing I want to do is go ahead and change the format to general. And I want to oops. I want to concatenate a whiskey with that UIC. So now I've got a W with the UIC and I double click the little crosshairs and it applies it down the entire spreadsheet, 23,000 records. So step one, fix my UIC. So let's insert another column. We're gonna copy this column because it's a formula, If as you can see here. We're gonna copy it and we're going to paste special and we're going to paste the values so now we can get rid of these other two so I fixed my UIC and disclaimer none of these names are real they're all fake names so um, yeah let's keep moving So now I fixed my Sergeant First Class list the way I need it. And what we're going to do now is go into Access. And in Access, I've already imported a list of all of my UICs that equal my organization. For this instance, I'm going to use 3rd Infantry Division. And if it's missing UICs, then you'll fix your own. You have your own task org that you know what it is but you're gonna see the method that I'm demonstrating. So what I wanna do here is go to external data. I wanna import this FY14 Sergeant First Class list. It's on sheet one. The first row does contain the column headings the first row should be the column headings. If you got something else on the top row of your spreadsheet, go ahead and delete it. So now let's just click next and we don't need let access add a primary key. That's fine. So let's call this FY14 Sergeant First Class List. No, I don't want to save it. So I've got the E7 list right here in access and we're almost done so everything's good I got a UIC here that's six characters I have my UIC here that's six characters that's what they both have in common is the UIC so now I want to create query design and I want to add the Sergeant First Class list and I want the 
division UIC list. I want to grab all of the information from the Sergeant First Class list. I'm going to relate the UIC here in the Sergeant First Class list to the division UIC list. And what that's saying is that this UIC here is the same guy here. So at this point, I can also get the DMSL code. I can also get the name of that battalion with no extra work. So this type of relationship says only show the people. That's what this is saying. Only show the people whose name or whose UIC is on both lists. So if an individual is on this Sergeant First Class list and his UIC is over here in my list of division UICs, then it's gonna go fetch all of those names. And there it is. You see all of the people from 3rd Infantry Division that are on that promotion list. And you also get the DMSL and the unit description. Now they gave you the DMSL on the selection list, but they did not give you the battalion. So that I know that it's 92nd Engineer Battalion. So I know that it's 473rd Quartermaster Company because you won't know that because all you have is a UIC on that promotion list. So again, it was really simple. I want to stress to you that you don't want to match names because name names can change. People come and go. I would pull this list like this, relate it on the UIC, make sure that both UICs look exactly the same on both sides. Create my relationship grab this additional data that I want from my division UIC list click run just that easy if it was a core and you got a hundred thousand names this becomes extremely powerful in terms of what you have to provide so again that was a scrubbing a promotion list with access